I want to talk a little bit about the bloodless plane. So what is a bloodless plane? Well, I call it the cobweb layer because that's kind of what it reminds me of that when you have dew over a spider's web in the morning or at Halloween, all that fake cobwebs that they have. That's kind of what the bloodless plane looks like as the surgeon's dissecting. The bloodless plane is a connective tissue between two organs or two systems in the, in the body. And they're always looking for that because if they can get into that plane, then there's going to be less blood, less bleeding. And that's why it's called the bloodless plane because you can separate that without having a lot of bleeding. If you get into the wrong area or out of that bloodless plane, then into muscle tissue, organ, or whatever you're in, then you're going to find that there's going to be more bleeding. So I'm going to show you two videos, one of a little bit of a gallbladder and one a little bit of a hiatal hernia. And what you're looking for is that cobwebby looking layer. And you'll see what I mean by the bloodless plane. And we as a first assistant can really help expose that bloodless plane to the surgeon by doing that counter traction that we've talked about. As we're pulling it, that bloodless plane will sometimes show itself because we're getting a little bit of tension and the tissues, the two organs start separating a little bit. You can even do this on a mastectomy when they're trying to separate the fascia off the muscle. It's very tight and they're usually trying to separate it by a bobe. But if, if when they're taking it off the muscle, if you take a lap in your hand and then you take that hand with the lap and you pull against the muscle as they're pulling against the, the specimen that has the breast and the fascia attached to it, you're going to see that bloodless plane will develop and their dissection for that will be much quicker. So let's take a minute here to look at a couple videos of bloodless plane. So this is a hiatal hernia and if you watch it you're going to see how he's looking for that bloodless plane. Look on the side where he's pushing it with a harmonic and you're going to see that little white gossamer on the very left between the two left graspers right there, that white plane. And you can see how he's dissecting there and you don't see much bleeding. We're going to watch this a little bit longer just because there's another one that you can look at up in the apex of the hiatal hernia here. Now look in that V up at the top of the apex there and as he dissects you're going to see there, see that white cowboy right there? That's the bloodless plane right there. There's a really good shot of it and we'll just freeze it one second and look at it. See there? Perfect. So this is a lap coli and the surgeon's being very careful to find that bloodless plane. Look at the liver bed and see how there's no cautery there, there's no bleeding there. He's been able to find that plane. Sometimes he pushes a little bit and you can see it develop. Sometimes he's cauterizing. See when he pushes there? It brings that plane a little more view because he's doing the counter traction, which you as a first assistant are doing a lot of time. 